Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. We you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and blam. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. I got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Check, 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 check. So, uh, whoo. Mm -hmm. You got the Drake card. I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year. Who the hell is y'all? Yeah, right. <laughs> so you got the Drake card going down October 30th. And before we get started, just want to say continue to send prayers and admiration to Hitman Holland and his family. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Um, for the situation that went on with the robbery and things as this girl continues to, you know, get better. But uh, our prayers and thoughts are out to you. But uh, you got this card going down October 30th with Loaded Lux, Geechee Gotti, Tay Rock, New Jersey Twerk, Murder Mook. Versus Easy the Black Captain, Sue Surf versus Calico, T Rex versus Rum Nitty, Chaz the Rapper versus Young Gaddis, mm. Pat Stay versus Real Sick. Now, I want to start here. I want to do this a little bit more, a little unconventionally. Mm. I want to start with the ladies first. Chaz the Rapper versus Young Gaddis. So you have two people on different sides of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Jazz the Rapper hasn't battled since before Dr. Dre put out his last album. Facts. And um, was Young, Ga <laughs> Young Gaddis has been back. She's been active. Uh, we all know Jazz the Rapper had the back and forth with Misfit. I thought they was going to battle. Didn't happen. Uh, had another one with this. Didn't happen. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Now you got Young Gaddis who's back, who's active. You know what I'm saying? She just battled not too long ago. Uh, and now she's, uh, she's battling against a Jazz the Rapper who we haven't seen in a while. Um... Like for from from perspective based, like Jazz the rapper got mad flow. She got bars. She does music. She's on stage. She do. She's on stage at every battle, doing everything but rapping. Yeah. What What's your thoughts on the battle? Um, the battle itself, I want this to be um as classic as almost all of Jazz's battles mm -hmm. are. Just saying, just throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. When uh Jazz the rapper is on the card, it's meant to be. A high level battle. Mm -hmm. let's, let's let's keep it all the way funky because one of my favorite and it's probably top ten, if mm -hmm. not number one, female mm -hmm. is her versus official. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know what I'm saying? And then you gotta remember when Jazz returned back for hustle. That battle still was mm -hmm. great. Some people got jazz winning, some people got hustle winning that. Mm -hmm. Uh hustle was more aggressive. I'll mm -hmm. say that. Uh but when the hustle uh, when uh when jazz battled E Hart. Same thing. Whenever Jazz steps back on the stage, all eyes are on her. Mm -hmm. Thing is, it's usually the opponent that they're worried about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because there was the whole choking effect with whenever you battle Jazz, you, you, you tend to choke and stuff yeah. like that. Gaddis ain't about to do none of that. No. Gaddis don't care about none of that. Not to mention, Gaddis' last battle was not only a 30. But it was a 30 clip to her mans. Like, you, she literally said, you better get your mans. And that is the only reason why this battle is occurring. Go get your big homie. Official had to get the big homie. Go get your big homie. <laughs> Just saying it. To, I'm, I'm only saying that this battle had the potential to be a main event battle for me. Like, if this battle was on Queen of the Ring, that better be the number one, you know what I'm saying, main event. But... Cause it's on a Drake card, it is going to happen early. That also now opens up the opportunity for it being one of the best battles. You're going to get a fresh crowd, or, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know exactly how it's going to be set up, but that right there is right in the thick of, you know, the crowd, you know, being not bored and stuff like that. This battle has to be a classic. Mm -hmm. Has to be. Otherwise, y'all want to cut each other head off. That's the only thing. Uh, yeah, I definitely have it being a war amongst these two ladies, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they... It couldn't be nothing more than that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what more would you think? You know what I'm saying? Like, then you got Jazz the Rapper, one of the most iconic female battle rappers, whether it be name, acclaim, style, bars, things like that, all combined into one versus Young Gaddis, who 
has taken like an unconventional route because she's been around for such a long time. Mm -hmm. She took a break. She came back. Took um, another break. <laughs> took another break. But Gaddis has the most to gain in this because her beating a jazz the rapper would do so much. It would put her all the way up there with 40. Like that shit would move her up so many notches. Like, cause you gotta remember she's already battled a lot of people already, like the yeah. Arsenal and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Hard already. Yeah. So if she takes out Jazz, man, listen, what are we doing? Here? You can't tell her nothing. But what happens if Jazz convincingly wins? Are we talking about clear? It's, it's very hard to beat Young Gat as clear though. Like to clearly beat her like like thirty ball or like it's it's, it's hard. To is it is it? it uh, some would say it's the same for Jazz though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, though yeah. with Jazz, like even though Jazz has a lot of angles towards her or against her, it still don't stop the fact that Jazz can still rap and she still gives the better performances. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like one thing that I, I, uh, whenever for me watching Jazz the rapper, you know, come up, my biggest issue with her was she was never really that aggressive. Mm -hmm. So whenever there was somebody that like so like for for me to see that chink in her armor, it was hustle. Mm. When Hustle was all on her and everything, it, it kind of let me know, like, hmm, Jazz got to work on that aggression. Mm -hmm. Now, when she battled E-Heart, she kept the same style and she, because E-Heart was more of a, of, a, of a puncher. Right. Even though Heart was more aggressive, Jazz still could outshine that. You know what I'm saying? But when she battled Official, mm -hmm. now we got somebody who's bars and aggression on top. And she still made it a debatable battle. For mm -hmm. Gaddis, it's rapid punches, it's rapid performance, it's rapid inside. Like, like Gaddis is a lot of a, a in and out. To me, to me, I feel like she's more of a, a like the the female hollow. Right. Because you don't know exactly what she's coming with, but you kind of know where she might be going with it. Right. But with Jazz, you know it's gonna be straight punches all the time. Something witty, something clever. It convincingly. If Jazz beats Gaddis, mm -hmm. Jazz goes right back up to the throne and she can now sit back where she at. She ain't got to come back outside. If Jazz convincingly beats Gaddis, this misfit battle would never happen. No. You see what I'm saying? It's like Gaddis is going to have to clip, literally clip Jazz, mm -hmm. just so we can make Jazz more active. But if she doesn't do that, we got a problem, Houston. Who you got winning? Skip all that. I think I'm a, I think, I think, and I, and, I, and I love both of these ladies dearly. I think off the element of surprise and unorthodox, I'm gonna go with Gaddis, but it could go either way. I, I'm, I'm not, conv I'm convinced it could go either way, but if I have to put a horse in the race, I'm gonna go with Gaddis, because I don't know what she's going to do. Mm, okay. That's interesting. Uh, I got nothing for you. I know, I don't have anything for you. <laughs> I, I have them both being very nice. This is my only one that I will probably go with uh, whoever wins the third. 2-1 either way. I got a 1-1 going into the third. That's just my personal opinion. That's I mean. cop out, huh? Yeah, I got one battle that <laughs> I can do that with, and I'm going to do that with this one. Uh, I let, just, Jazz, let don't, it happen. Don't kill me, Jazz. Let it happen. Just prove me wrong. That's it. Don't, don't kill me. Beloved versus Nicky, why you ain't hope Deontay Wilder? Hey, yo. Huh? 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 You was right on stage when he was fighting. Mm -hmm. Now you here standing in front of these punches. You're going to get knocked out just like him. Nigga, you was a bit. Beloved versus Geechee. <laughs> Got it, man. What's up, man? What's up? What you know about a thug? He said, what you know what a thug about? You helped, you helped Tyson Wilder. You helped uh, Wilder walk out there. You going to need that nigga to help you out. Nigga, you was a... See, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with yeah, you. Yeah. I'm my, with my, you. My, my was cold. It was fun. It's sorry. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, to so say. Got Gichi Gotti versus Loaded Lux, man. Obviously, this is quite a surprise. I don't think anybody besides people that was really in the know. I mean, I heard whisperings, inklings about it, but now it's been announced. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm gonna start here. I think it's good that Loaded Lux finally is coming downstairs. Him downstairs. <laughs> him down him downstairs. Stairs, him downstairs. To have a conversation with one of the newer generations, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of his battles are always legacy battles. Mm -hmm. He's battling against a Arsenal. He's battling against a Verb. He's battling, you know what I'm saying? Surf. All these legacy joints. Me, I surf, uh, we yeah, surf. surf. Mm -hmm. We want to see you. What can you do versus new school? Mm -hmm. What is it going to be? 
are you going to be able to show up battle Gichi Gotti at a high level and, and show us that you're still able to dance in this era? Because there's other veterans and people that's on them guy tiers, they come down here, that money look funny in the light. It don't, it don't, it don't shine the same. You know what I mean? True. So going into it, I will say, unfortunately, I got Gichi Gotti with the advantage. Going into it, not unfortunately. I feel like right now, and I feel like mm -hmm. trend setting punches, punches translate very well. Mm -hmm. You know, being able to talk that talk down, that be able to talk directly at a person, and if it's a crowd. Lux to me, just to me, mm -hmm. since his battle with maybe the two on two, which is like some all star game shit, mm -hmm. it didn't, he hasn't, like, the, the, the verb battle didn't translate the best on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had bars and it was it was a lot of material, yeah. but they didn't grab that big crowd like that. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Like there were other people that were on that card who had bigger performances in Houston that night. Is what I'm saying. True. Sure. Now, Gichi Gotti don't have them issues. You know what I'm saying? No. Battling surf, big stage. Mm -hmm. Bat wherever you go, big stage. He's gonna either have one of the haymakers of the night. He's gonna have a, a good performance. He's gonna bring it, and he's trending like like niggas. They really fucking with Gichi. I think just like I said, just I feel like from an advantage standpoint, mm -hmm. Geechee has the advantage. To me, the better lyricist is Loaded Lux. You know what I'm saying? Like the way he puts words together. Mm -hmm. I feel like Geechee Gotti has to do what he does as mm -hmm. far as punching, as far as being able to close the distance, as far as being able to have those witty lines, them haymakers and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And Lux is gonna have to elevate his game to show like nigga I'm right on you, you know what I'm saying? Like and, and using his angles and shit that he's able to do. I have this being a really good battle. How you feel about it overall? Let's just talk. I got this battle being really good. Um I hope it does live up to the hype that it brings. Yeah. Um I I I, I usually uh count Geechee Gotti out. Usually, mm -hmm. uh, whenever uh, those uh, battles happen, and then Geechee Gotti beats the shit out of that person, mm -hmm. and then I gotta get right back on his camera and say Geechee Gotti smoked him. Mm -hmm. Last time, I said Geechee Gotti was clearly going to beat Calico, and you left the door open for Calico to walk away with that W. Right. And for that, Geechee, you are at a disadvantage. Mm. Because you technically lost to somebody who lost to the one that you're battling down. This is, this is, and I'm about to say, this is not me trying to stretch the narrative, narrative but that's what they gonna say, mm. right? Not to mention, Lux is one of the only few people that still holds that title of the Smack Era Torch. Mm. When you see Lux, that's still your final boss. Like, you feel like when you battle loaded Lux, that is. Dr. Robotnik in the suit and you bouncing around that day. <laughs> that's, that's the boss. Right. Now, you done worked all of your, you done worked your behind off to get Loaded Lux. If you take the time off, like you said you was going to take the time off and let all of this stuff, you know, die down, maybe Geechee ain't got a chance. But, we ain't heard nothing. First of all, we ain't heard nothing from Lux mm. since since, since, since before he just did Styles on these niggas get, SP And get your man And get your man ooh, ooh. Let's, let's keep it funky Not to mention well, Only he, thing He only, got a Lux in that song He got to get you in that song too Just saying And, and then also You got to look at The only thing we've been seeing from Lux Is that he been playing chess and that he been, oh, my bad, there's a one viral video Of uh, him, Mook, and then all of them Getting their jig on during the right, dip right, right, right. But that was it Lux been chilling, big chilling, waiting to sculpt and craft his next body. Like, Cause he, I'm pretty sure Lux ain't happy with his last performance either. Even though he beat Surf, but it was in a room with nobody in it. Just saying, it's a lot that Lux can live up to, and it's also one's unpredictability. We don't know. I don't know what Lux is going to do. Right, right, right. Whereas right. Gichi, we know where he coming. We know he gonna do it. Is there a way to beat that? Yes, especially for somebody who plays chess. Hmm. I'm just saying. Could be better tonight. As of right now, I got Lux um, for two reasons. One, because I do believe I don't understand. I don't know what uh, Lux is going to do. Mm -hmm. Second of all, it's because usually when I count Gigi out, he usually wins the battle. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, so oh, so you're doing like the reverse. Got it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yo, they was. I, I do remember uh, Loaded Lux with that 
the telepath, the act, act, the act. Remember uh, that? Uh, the, the energy soul separately. And the mental telepathy. The <laughs> mental telepathy. Back reconnected we two leaders on high altitudes, <laughs> sort of pop different. Uh -huh. That's then how we're think being about on the mountain, mountain dude. dude. Kill switch. I'm about to control everything Thank in the room. <laughs> Get, get, got my partner in his bag, even New Jersey twerk Jer bouncing. <laughs> Come on, man. Come oh, on, man. Oh, shit, It's bro. stuff like that. Like, like, and that's from the intangibles. I mean, yeah. granted, you can't, I mean, I don't really remember a lot from what Lux was saying in to surfing in, in, in his battle. No, I don't remember that. You know I'm saying? I don't remember a lot, but I do know that it was clear 30. Mm. You could debate maybe the first round. But you know, yeah, from the top, let's go. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can think about. Um, yeah, 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 that was that was fine. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So it's like from Lux. Lux got the unpredictability, and then not to mention, Lux has to keep it a little, depending on the crowd. Lux has to keep it simple because his biggest his biggest reaction. I already know stage, what I was going for that. 38 with the electric tape. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, but I'm talking about no. When, uh, banging like a no no no, banging like an 808. Mm -hmm. Base with me if you want, mm -hmm. punk. I knock you out with the chest shot. Led Zeppelin with the head rock. <laughs> Kitty, dig it. You niggas done made grave mistakes. Save your faith. There was once a man preaching in his head. I said, Wolf, they want you in the grave like Liam Neeson. <laughs> I remember that. That's the shit I need, Lux. That's the shit I need. Also, he kept it simple. Well, I'm about to say the easiest, uh, the, the biggest reaction went in the verb battle. Was when he said it's like uh, uh, it's like uh, Offset talking to Takeoff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. just, he said just that part where you take your skirt, skirt off. off nigga. Even though that's literally a basic line for us, oh, yeah. but it, the crowd went crazy. Why? Because it was simple. Oh, Migos, I get it. If you keep it that playing field, you're already lyrically better than Geechee, mm -hmm. right? Like if we can say that, Lux can out rap Geechee, mm -hmm. right? If that's the case, you gotta make it so it's an even playing field so that the people that ain't gonna catch it on cam, they need to catch that right then and there. Cause it's gonna be hard. You gotta withstand a Geechee second round. But does a crowd versus uh does a crowd versus no crowd, does that make a difference? For Lux, no. For Geechee, no. But in Geechee's battles where there isn't a crowd, he is he's on the opposite end. Like oh. he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't do well. I don't want to say he doesn't do well, but a lot of his stuff just go over the heads because it is, I mean, not go over the heads, but it's more, it's so direct that, you know, there's no reaction to it. So the fact that he can keep going, it's, it's kind of one of them situations where Geechee on, in a smaller room doesn't really work out. But in a bigger room, bigger reactions. Geechee is very hard to pick against. Very. Like, when it comes to his battles, because even when he quote unquote, doesn't win, mm. he still wins. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's kind of tough to pick against them. Who are you picking in this one? Though? Gigi don't get 30. That's, yeah. that's I'm about to say. I mean, I'm, I mean, you know that one time at that bar mm. that, that nobody saw, oh, yeah, but a lot of people saw. saw you know what I'm saying? I, but at the same time, he, Gigi don't get 30. But you know, the crazy thing is that when you look at Gigi Gotti's battles, they often have a lot of replay value and. He's done what he's supposed to be doing as a leader of the new school. Like, he came in, not much acclaim, got his shit off the ground, uh, putting on for the West. And, yo, we ain't even speak about this. Bruh, if Geechee Gotti beats Loaded Lux clearly, mm -hmm. is he not the new king of battle rap? I mean... What would the answer that's not? Now, I mean, yes or no? Straight up. He's, uh... Uh, that would definitely make him uh, request only. So request only. I'm just saying request only. So um, uh, like act, big actors, like when they ask for Denzel and Leo, Leo and, and and Tom Hanks, they don't they don't ever audition for a goddamn thing. It's request only. Hey, I got this person for you, and it's up to you to say yes or no. If Gucci beats Lux, you're only sending him request only, and they have to have credentials. Yeah, if he beats Lux, that's that's kind of like. I'm the new king of Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but who you got winning though? I got Lux. I got Lux. It's very hard to pick against I, Lux. It's, Lux, it's right? very hard to pick against Lux. It's hard to pick against Geechee. But if I want Geechee to be the best, I got to go against him. So, Lux. Oh, so you're picking I'm against I'm a betting him. man. So I am a pick. betting man. I am not a betting man. I'm, mm. just, I'm just saying. I, mm. Consequences and, and actions. So, since you... I, 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 I see where you're going with this, mm -hmm. but I'm going to, just for the sake of the argument, mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna take the other party. Mm -hmm. I would have. I was gonna pick Lux, but since you took, him, yeah, I'm gonna take Ishigati, and I'm gonna hope Ishigati comes through for me. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. I I had so many reasons why, or whatever the case may be, but I can do this on both sides. Yeah. Why nigga Ishigati? I just told nigga why ain't help Deontay Wilder, right. nigga. Crowd, these niggas are fucking crazy. I, I, I like the I mean, battle of all. And, and, and let's be fair, that fight it was it was pretty even. I mean, it wasn't like you know he was getting his ass whooped the whole time. Let's let's keep it real. He got washed. Uh, he did get washed in that last round. He, that he couldn't see nothing, but he got a knockdown too. Like you know what I'm saying? They yeah. knocked each other down. It wasn't like a wash, mm -hmm. but yeah. I love the I love the battle of all. Though. I love the thought of the battle. I love the concept. Yep. Uh, Gichi Gotti. I feel like he's earned this. You know what I'm saying? Not Absolutely. like earned an ash, but he's earned this. He's, hey, just, yo. he's got there. He's 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 developed so much, and now it's at a point where let's let's see what he do versus like one of the one of the biggest and the best in the world. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like if you gonna either barbecue or mildew, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like uh, I say this all the time. I say that uh, you have to deal with these guys from face value. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you got a Gucci Gotti. Uh, you got personality and production. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have. Uh, personality is they'll deal with your personality, but when the production doesn't meet the personality, they don't want to deal with you anymore. Right. Right. But Gichi Gotti has the production and the personality, so when he tells people like, you know, no, no, suck my, and you know, they cannot not deal with him because he is such a high, he puts out such a high production at a high rate that y'all got to fix that internally. I'm gonna say whatever I want. I'm not controllable. I say what I want. I respect that. Say what you want. I done blew up too much. Um. He ain't wrong. No, no, no another wrong. one on this one, man. T Rex versus Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty 3 0. Rum, Rum Nitty 3 0. Did y'all hear when I said that? Rum Nitty 3 0. 4 0. Coin toss. For, with the coin toss. 4 0. 5 0 if you count the face off if there is one. <laughs> Rum Nitty ain't got to say nothing. Because no, you know, because you know Rex going to hit I got Rex sitting down. I got Rex. Yeah. I got him get his, I got him get his ass smoked. <laughs> you know that's the guy. Now, now, now we have to do this though. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They did battle on Before. the Snoop Dogg Gladiator School, and uh -huh. Rex did win. That was a long time ago. It was many Maybe. moons ago. Yep. So I guess Rum Nitty won. Rum Nitty was he wasn't even he was transitioning in the URL at that time. He was still the king of the dot uh, uh, battle. Where I'm from, where I, you know I'm old now, uh -huh. but the young heads say they want they call it get they lick back. You know what I'm saying? That means. You hit somebody, mm -hmm. you want to get your hit back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to yeah. get your, you get your spin the block. Oh, That's yeah. another one of young, yeah. you know, young heads. You mm -hmm. spin the block. Yeah. But uh, I definitely have this battle as a thirty piece. Yep. And I rarely, if you look through all the videos on this channel, you I very rarely, this guy Rex rarely Rex. have somebody you getting thirty. Rex. I got him getting thirty so much that if we could even bet. I'm, I'm willing to. Nope, I'm not bet betting around. Me. Nope, because because if I lose one round, I'm oh, be so mad. No, no, I'm not betting. On, look, I'm, I'm saying, betting on the win. Yeah. If you bet me, you bet me on the win. On the win, not the round. I'm just saying it's gonna be a thirty piece. Yeah. Clearly, there's nothing you can do with Rum Nitty on big room, nothing. on small room. Nothing. There's nothing. Nothing. What are we doing here? No. I I, I don't even want to waste that much time. You wasting and, that much time and, on and, this and one? In that, and in that comment section, I don't care. Like, I whatever don't my care. response is, I don't I care. Don't care. Like, no. Y'all hating on Rex. I don't care. No. <laughs> Three, oh. Three, it's done? Rum Nitty. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Are you done? I'm ne done. Next, I, qu I ne next question. Okay. Sue Surf versus Calico. So you got Sue Surf uh, spinning the block really quick after battling John John and Don. He's battling against Calico, who just battled against Gichi Gotti. Uh, Sue Surf delivered three rounds. He did. Uh, Calico always delivers three rounds. Delivered this three rounds. Yes, uh, you got Calico. Who, uh, all from what I was hearing, rumblings, I didn't even know if this battle was going to happen or mm -hmm. not, you know, due to that bread. Calico's one of them type of people that you got to pay me. You got to pay me. I'm not doing I, nobody I no favors. I need signs. my cha ching. Mm -hmm. And now these guys are battling. Sue Surf, you know, he, he had a very good battle versus John John the Don. He won, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter whether you feel like 2 0, 3 0, whatever the case may be. 2 1, 3 0, whatever. Mm -hmm. He won. Mm -hmm. Um, do I think that. That performance of that level will be replicated in 30 days? No. Um, mm. Do I feel like he won't come with three rounds? I'm 50-50. You know what mm. I'm saying? I do feel like we're talking about Sir. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Calico's going to have three rounds. That's what he does. But the chances are higher and the probability is higher 
of Sue Surf reverting back to what we know by saying something like, I get, I just gave y'all three, you know what I'm saying? Or I didn't want to battle him any, you know how that shit mm -hmm. I didn't want to yeah. battle a nigga It's going to be more yeah. excuses than the brother yeah. going to jail. Okay. So, uh, now, what I hope, mm -hmm. I will hope, mm -hmm. I don't know if Sue Surf looks at it from this perspective. You battled Calico before and that nigga beat you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You remember that, right? Oh, do you remember that? I remember. That shit's ass pussy that battle. That battle. That shit <laughs> ass pussy. <laughs> I'm in your crew like where your circle at. Yeah, yeah. Ass pussy. Yo. Shout out We're to packing the back of the back of the act off of the D. We ride around with that shit on our lap. Why would I pack it back of the back of the back of the act, nigga? Uh you know, it's just one of those things where <laughs> You got, uh, and you already used your either way, so you got to take a choice. Yeah, 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 Oh, man, this is crazy. Um, it'd be hard to pick against Calico. When you pick against Calico, Calico don't really lose fucking battles like that. He does not lose battles. So, honestly, mm -hmm. I'm picking Calico. The reason why I'm picking Calico, you know Sir is my man, you know the phone and everything. Mm -hmm. I got to pick Calico in this one because when you pick Calico, that's a safe pick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I gotta pick the safe one. Mm -hmm. Now, can Surf win this battle? Yes. If he performs like he did versus John John with yes. that performance right there, yes. he can win. Because mm -hmm. his performance versus John John would have beat Calico's performance versus yes. John John. Yes. Now, that's just from that perspective. Mm -hmm. But the safe bet, mm -hmm. the safe. Mm -hmm. Like, I know this person will have three rounds. Mm -hmm. This person will deliver. Mm -hmm. This person gonna be talking his shit. Mm -hmm. This person gonna be. God, you know, I got good sense. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta go with that. Who you got? I got Calico winning this battle. Ooh. No hate involved. Oh, I have Calico winning this battle. This nigga's not hating. I am not hating at all. Oh, shit. Now watch what they go and say. Wait, wait, wait. No, nah, nigga, no. Nah, no, because I'm going to get my flowers. Up. Like I said, I'm giving my flowers right you now. Right? Are a hater. But they going to say in the same joint. I'm at a catch 22. Because if I say I got Calico winning, mm -hmm. I'm hating on Surf. Mm -hmm. And if I say I got Surf winning this battle, oh, I'm dick riding Surf and I'm still hating on Calico. No, I don't think so. So I got Calico winning this battle mm -hmm. because of everything that you just said. You literally just broke down what I was about to say. I was like, if we're talking about the big C word, which is consistency, mm -hmm. Calico may give you a recycled round. Mm -hmm. But he's still gonna give you three rounds. I had to give you a Don DeMarco he's because still, of, I had to give you a Don DeMarco because you 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 stopped hating on Calico. I, the hate was never there. I'm, I'm, if I'm being honest with you, now material wise, mm -hmm. Calico has a lot to 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 gain mm -hmm. from this because of the fact that Calico do a lot of talking about nothing, mm -hmm. right? When you're going to I'm. I, Surf schemes a lot about nothing. I, 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 so whether it's hate on both sides, call it what it is. But mm. if we're talking about consistency and the turnaround rate, I expect Calico to still have three rounds after in, in thirty days. Yeah. I do not expect Surf to have three full rounds in thirty days. That's no. a, that's a tall. Time. Now 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 we're at, that's a bit much. Yeah, that's, that's a bit much. Surf ain't rapped in a whole year. <laughs> turn around and rap. Turn around and rap twice in thirty in thirty within thirty days. That's and give lot. six full rounds. That's a lot to ask. But anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> But yes, overall, it is not impossible to have three rounds of material in 30 days, especially for a Sue Surf be getting paid. Right. I'm just saying. You should. I'm just but saying. I'm saying people don't go to games and they miss out on 300 dollars. Oof. Kyrie wants to be the voice of the voiceless. Get the fuck out of here. Um, I believe in personal choice, but at the same time, when you getting paid that much, if my job tells me I need to get this too in order to play, guess what? Sign me up, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I First mean, you know, and, and yeah, I know a lot of people be asking me about that. It's like, look, I'm not, I'm never going to tell somebody what to do with themselves. Like, what to do with you, what to do for your family, whatever you feel like is the best decision for you. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're a part of a team. Correct. You know what I'm saying? A team. Mm -hmm. A team is only as good as each of its components. Mm -hmm. And you got other people who are relying on you but you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. It's always something, right? So, yeah. real quick. In 2017, Kyrie didn't want to be on Cleveland no more. He mm -hmm. left. Right. He goes to Boston. He don't want to be on Boston no more. He right. left. Mm -hmm. He goes to Brooklyn. Gets to Brooklyn. First season, he gets hurt. 
doesn't play. Second season, he gets hurt in the playoffs, doesn't play. Now he's doing this COVID shit. It's always something. They might as well just let him go, be a pilgrim, and then he can be on his own and they don't have to worry about him. Ain't nothing wrong with being a Ricky Williams. Bro. Yeah, right. Go be peaceful. Go right. do yoga. Or something. Do it the easy way. <laughs> Speaking of the easy way, mm. Murder Moo versus Easy the Flock Captain. All right, so when we spoke to Easy not too long ago, mm -hmm. he definitely thanked Briz Rothstein for the battle. For whatever reason it is, I don't have nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. I'm only here to talk about the battle. Correct. I've been hearing, mm -hmm. you know, ear to the street, you know what I'm saying, it clear as to me, that Murder Mook wants the battle to only be in a small room. I understand why, but me personally, I'm like, hell no, let it happen. Let it happen. Whatever's going to happen, let it happen. Don't. I said, don't take no battle with no, with no Tay Rock room, where nobody could be in the room and no reaction. Battle rap in 2021 is based on reaction, crowd, loving what they're hearing, people that's there in the building. That's what it's based on. It's not based on these small volume rooms where nobody can't be in the room. Like, that shit takes away so much from battles. We've just seen it happen this weekend. Now, yep. I'm not even going to be long-winded. I got easy black hat to win this battle. Yep. I feel like it's the perfect time yep. for the new generation to take over. Slide you know right on in and be like, oh. Philly is on deck. All day. Easy to block captain just had the best performance on Summer Madness with Chess. Mm -hmm. And no disrespect, but Murder Mook had the worst performance with Rex. Let me read. They both combined. It was the worst battle on Summer Madness. Yes. May, it was, yeah, the, even the new niggas, the, the fucking MVP versus uh, real name Brandon was better. Yeah. Um, and that's no, it is what it is. The truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth. But it's a fact. So, um, it's a fact. <laughs> I, 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 if Mook goes down to the lowest common denominator, back to the punchline style, back to being aggressive, back to what we knew him for pre-smack era, I mean pre-new era, mm -hmm. then, you know, it could probably be a better battle than it would probably be. But on paper, this looks like Easy Block Captain is about to have a full conversation with this man. I'm going to just pass it to you. It could be a small room. Mm -hmm. It could be a big room. Mm -hmm. It could, it could be, be an attic. Room. It could be a basement. It could be a <laughs> boiler room. It could be a bathroom. It could be the bedroom. It could be the kitchen. It could be the Classroom. dining room. It don't matter what room it is. Easy to block Captain 2-1. Because mm -hmm. after you get all of that, oh, he rapping, rapping, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it all the way real here. Okay? Let's keep it all the way real. Easy to block, Captain is as hot as peanut oil at Chick-fil-A at 1130. Mm -hmm. Alright? I'm being honest with you. Right. It's going to be hard to stop that wave that, that Easy's on. Easy's consistent. Easy is, it, he's done battles within two weeks time frame. So 30 day turnaround means nothing. Right. Content wise he might be a little bit, you know, shaky but at the same time he had to be super lyrical or kind of lyrical. I'm sorry he went up against somebody who was super lyrical and he still withstood that. So right. literally, you're going to do the same thing with Moo, where it's, uh, maybe we're going to catch that on cam and we wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. Easy don't give a damn about none of that. You're going to get barked on right now. Right. Moo don't wear no hat. Don't wear no hat. Because mm -hmm. you're going to lose that. You're going to lose that war against the hat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 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 yeah. off that alone, yeah, yeah, yeah. off that alone, who you going? You not, you not listen. Not to mention, Mook, you don't like a lot of people all in your face and all of that. Mm -hmm. Easy not gonna give a fuck about none of that. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm keeping it all the way funky. The way you complained. The, he gonna hit with it. You didn't think I was nice? Nigga, stop the capping. I battle Rex. Nigga, you stood right there and watched it happen. Uh -huh. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. We don't respect you no more. <laughs> like, he starts doing that shit right there, son. He said, oh wait, wait. my god. Uh, uh, I forgot who said it. Um, but, oh uh, my god. Uh, uh, but, bring him, uh, but bring him back alive. Who said that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, need, I, I said, I want you, I don't want to kill, but I want you, you to bring, bring him back, back alive. alive. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. So I could kill him. And that's exactly what Reed said just leave a little bit. Uh, uh, easy told Reed, just leave a little bit. Just leave mm. a little bit. And I'm gonna make sure that he gets got it right on into there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not to mention, not to mention what you just mentioned. I just clipped your man's. Mm -hmm. Go get your big dog. Go get your big dog. Mm -hmm. Cause your big dog just talked to my big dog and he ain't even last long. Mm -hmm. So now you <laughs> what you going through with a rip? 
I got easy to block Captain Win in this battle. Two one, and this is no Mook hate. I'm just saying, whether it's a small room or it don't matter, Mook still won't rap for like 35 minutes, and a lot of that stuff I'm gonna be trying to put it together, and I don't feel like doing all that. <laughs> Not doing it. Oh man, yeah, yeah, I got him uh, two one pretty clear. Um, Pat Stay verse real sick. Where the hell did this come from? Uh. Drake is from Canada. Okay. He's got to have some representation. You know what I'm saying? It only makes sense. Right. Pat Stay is that guy. Real Sick is the second out of the new guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's going to either be Luke Castro or maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that top, the, the, the top three right now. And yeah. the new guys mm -hmm. would probably be easy. Number one, he was the best on Summer Man. This mm -hmm. he's out of here. Mm -hmm. Maybe Real Sick, mm -hmm. uh, Kid Chaos, yeah, so Luke Jay. Castro, Jay, shit like that. But, uh, Pat Stay did give a lot of flowers to Real Sick when he was saying, you know, you're one of my favorite new guys and mm -hmm. things like that. So okay. it, it makes sense from that regard. Yeah. And Pat Stay's not just battling any old body. Right. And honestly, this is going to be some competition for Pat Stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Real Sick can rap, rap, rap. He's a rapidly rap, rap, rapper. Uh, he had a battle with Av. How you had the, how you had the Av joint going? I had Av winning the battle. Mm -hmm. um, but it was definitely a classic. I, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's definitely a classic for me because I, I have rewatched that battle within a good two week time frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't watched that battle again. Um, for real, uh, to me, I'm just more confused. This is there's always a style clash, mm -hmm. and for me, this battle is a style clash on the card. Um, this isn't my smoke break battle, but it is a battle that I'm like, mm, nothing happens to either one of these guys if either one gets thirty. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like if real sick 30s Pat Stay, real sick goes back on the board for saying all I do is 30 legends. Mm -hmm. If Pat Stay clearly beats real sick, it's gonna be like, oh well, he was one of the newer era guys. You know what I'm saying? And right. Th that's the only thing. Not to mention losing the Pat Stay doesn't on you are losing the Pat Stay on URL doesn't do as much damage as losing the Pat Stay on King of the Dot. Mm -hmm. And that's being real. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, but uh, but because of that. <laughs> Real sick can really rap, right? Have we not forgotten that Pat Stay can also really, really rap? Very well. Because he can rap, he can really, really rap. Okay? Mm -hmm. Him versus Disaster is one of the most rap, really rap, rap, rap battles. Right. But it's happened. You know what I'm saying? It's not one of the. Shit, Pat Stay versus Daylight is one of those rap, really rap, rap, rap battles. Facts. Pat can rap. That's not the thing. Pat also has performance. That's the one thing that Real Sick doesn't have that can translate. Because Real Sick is very bar heavy. And he could do the beat. Mm -hmm. He could do all of that while he rapping. It sounds cool, but Pat Stay knows how to hone the crowd. If this mm -hmm. is a big stage battle, Real Sick may not be able to translate the way that Pat Stay does. But if this is that caffeine room, Pat Stay is a little bit at a disadvantage because not a lot of people are laughing with Pat in this mm -hmm. situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But also, if this is gonna be, is I mean, is this ain't even gonna be in Canada? It might not even be in Canada. Is this? Oh, yeah, I don't know. We don't know where's. We don't know the stipulations of that. So I don't. I'm, I don't know. I'm. A, this is gonna be my my two one either way. This is my. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing this one because of the fact I don't know who's gonna do what. This is my two one either way. This is my easiest pick. Mm. I'm gonna go with a real sick two one. Mm. Uh, right now, real sick. Uh, I think the last time I seen Pat Stay was versus K Shine. Yep, that was the last Pat Stay though. Yeah, that was not it for me. Yeah. So I mean, Pat Stay could possibly come in there, shake some shit up, and, and represent for you know what I'm saying his side. But real sick to me, what what he does right now, the, 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 the like that that flow, like he's he has punches and bunches. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like 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 he he be. He be punches and bunches. You know I'm saying, saying? That's, 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 can't that could be, be deprived. Got the hammers gonna fly. The full pop, the soda pop, send you back to Canada dry. Like mm -hmm. he be doing all of that mm -hmm. shit, man. That was mm -hmm. actually pretty cool. Was, but uh, you know, he, he he be doing that shit, man, with the flows and multi syllables. And well, last time he was in one of those small rooms, like Danny. <clears throat> Just saying, Danny Myers. He was crazy in that performance too. Danny was also crazy. He just he he, he was crazy to himself. He was, yeah, he, yeah. He lost his mind in that third. Literally, oh, okay. he lost his lost mind. Lost his mind. Literally. Um, I got that. One. Last but not least, Get it. New Jersey Twerk versus Tay Rock. Madness. Mm -hmm. New Jersey Twerk versus Tay Rock. Finally uh -huh. going down. Uh, Tay Rock is one that I will say 
rises to the occasion versus bigger names. Mm -hmm. uh, in a battle that people may have felt like he didn't get versus Daylight, he still had a phenomenal performance. Uh, Chilla Jones, a lot of people felt like he was going to lose Chilla Jones. Clearly, he got by that one. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people felt like he was going to lose the Verb. Got by that one. Mm -hmm. Rock has been having more wins recently than losses. But he's taking his lumps. He's taking his ups. He's taking his downs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In battle rap, and that's just the way it goes. And the battles haven't been as crazy. Like he's getting the wins, mm -hmm. but the battle itself is not as like it, it, it's missing that 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 woo. And I think it is because of the like Tay Rock works better with the crowd. Mm -hmm. Like he loses his I mind. Say <laughs> Tay Rock, like I said, the only battle I've seen Tay Rock like. Get stumbled on in in a battle was him versus Hitman like that. No, him versus Past Day too. Oh yeah, that was him. That's what I'm saying. But you got those type of battles where, but even in that battle, even when he went first, he still was good. He, oh, his round was gone. You know what I'm saying? Like he he still the lost. Mayor, mayor. Come on, man. like rock. This is rock. We talking about. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, question. <laughs> yeah. You know, um. Name of time Tay Rock has uh, choked. First pass day, and even then that wasn't even considered a choke because he was he was just pissed, like he was more angry. That that wasn't like a, it wasn't like a goddamn. I don't know what I wrote or I yeah. wasn't prepared enough. But it was it still counts. That it counts. It counts. But that's the only one. That was what 2019, 18, 18, 19. 19, 19. Yeah. Yeah, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. Right. Um, has choked this year. So all I'm saying is. Mm -hmm. That consistency again mm -hmm. comes into play. Right. You know what I'm saying? We talk about star power. The reason why I don't want you're hating on twerk. Whatever. The reason one of the main reasons why twerk got the 30 or the, the, the clear battle versus Loso is because Loso's name wasn't as hot. You're going up against somebody whose name is just as high as yours. And when that yeah. opportunity presents itself like that, twerk usually ain't twerk. Mm. There's only a few times that that has happened where he gave us full three rounds, mm -hmm. and it was like, all right, twerk definitely that boy. And that's and that was him versus, uh, uh, was, it, uh, was it Geechee? No. It was, um, no, that, he definitely did it versus Geechee. No. <laughs> it was versus um, uh, Surf. Mm-hmm. And Arsenal. He did a verse show too, when that was a kind of like a, you know what I'm saying? That was right. So, needless to say, when you got somebody who can match your energy as far as aggression, you know, mm -hmm. in verse shot, you know what I'm saying? Like anybody who can match your aggression, your energy, what else can you do other than be prepared? Right. Tay Rock is going to be prepared. Tay Rock is also going to be really, really great in conviction and aggression. Mm hmm. The only thing that I can tell you that that may that maybe uh, twerk can get out of this is a really good freestyle. But you know what comes with a twerk freestyle? Right. The stumbling and the fumbling and then the joke afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Like twerk got to be prepared, prepared, prepared. Like the same type of preparation he got to have, the same preparation he had, and him ending that round hella short in that third. First of so we need all of that. Mm -hmm. We need all all of those first two rounds versus Tay Rock, and I still got Tay Rock winning this battle. Uh, <laughs> I will say this: Twerk knows what he's getting into on a Drake card and versus Tay Rock, who somebody he's always had some admiration for. So he already knows what he's getting into. Right. I'm leaning more towards the three round Twerk, the the fire strapped ends. And all that. I'm leaning. I, that's what I'm leaning towards. Right. I'm leaning towards the big performances. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also leaning towards Tay Rock having a phenomenal three rounds and being able to go into pockets of material and flow. I'm picking Tay Rock first and foremost because you know the more prepared MC, the one who's going to be able. Because like I told you in the beginning of this, I've seen Tay Rock rise to occasions. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like one person's up there. He met him up there. Mm -hmm. He met Daylight up there. Daylight was way, 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 way up there. I'm about to say, let's but, not uh, act like... Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Not let's not act like, like Tay Rock that material night, Tay Rock's there. material could have beat anybody else that was on that card. But the better man just won. Right. I, I, I knock your head off your shot. I said day by day. Come like, on, that was fire it's... material. Um, I will say this. I'm looking forward to seeing if Twerk brings brings it, brings it. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm prepared. To me, just my personal choice, battle of the night. Rock versus twerk. This it, it has very much so to be the potential battle of the night. It has the potential. This is my chest versus easy right here. 
we might be putting a lot on it because of the fact that we, I, I'm just saying. This is my <laughs> war right here. And, I, and you know, Twerk is known to have one crazy phenomenal ass round. He did it versus Charlie Clips. Yes. He did it in other battles too. Yes. But Rocket stood in front of phenomenal rounds. Geechee got his first round versus him was enough to send most niggas to the cleanest. You know what I'm saying? You don't ride with your niggas. Like that was enough to get most niggas out of here. Rock got his composure together and, and still and, and delivered. Still delivered the round to make it debatable in that so, round. I'm just it. Overall, uh, last question. Um, I do have Rock winning two one. Yeah, by I got the way. Uh, is this the biggest card ever? I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, it has the potential to be the biggest card ever. Mm -hmm. The matchups are good. Mm -hmm. But usually when we get big cards like this, Don't it does not deliver. Like mm -hmm. the letdown be even worse. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like th if I'm not mistaken, Drake was supposed to be behind the Genesis card too. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And for Twerk to drop the ball like he did on the main event and forget you to soar past it. Like after that, what battles do we really remember? Only mm -hmm. one that I remember is what John John did to chess in that right. night. You know what I'm saying? You know, Kayshawn and Charlie went that crazy. This battle is has that same monumental Titan feel because of the names. The right. name now, granted, I would love to be there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I'm you're knocking off my bucket list of top tiers. You know what I'm saying? To be there. But usually when you got that caliber, it does not deliver. Mm -hmm. I'm just a little skeptical because there's a couple people on this card that can fuck this whole night up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall, uh, very good card. Uh, we can't really tell if it's going to be the best ever until after, but it's the right. name-wise, it's, it's the biggest by far. Yeah. Have you ever seen Murder Mook and Loaded Lux on the same card <laughs> battling against different people? Why you have Rock, why you have Twerk, why you have Surf, why you have Cal, why, that was just a lot you of stuff. the last power. time that happened? Some madness. Too. The greatest card that everybody still say is the greatest card. I, to me, to me personally, whatever the Smack era versus the New Era card is, that's going to be the greatest card. Because okay. they that that whatever that is, or uh, they're doing that for an anniversary or something like that. That one, this is up there. But it ha it has to deliver first. Because even on Summer Madness too, you still had DNA and, and Enes and that battle. Was, you know, mm -hmm. Still had Murder Mook and Iron Sol Iron Solomon. That's still, but we still talk about Summer Madness being one of the greatest events. Because mm -hmm. of the other battles. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to put it in motion and make it play. The yeah. event is 17 days away. Mm. Other than that, you already know what it is. Gang.